All right, Shalom, Makim, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the Akim out there pushing his word in true sincerity. Now, you know, I'm in a, in transit, so I, I want to do a video real quick. You know, I'm not going to, you know, through the spirit, I'm not going to keep brothers long. You know, but I, I just wanted to do this video about, uh, about uh, fighting demons. All right, because, you know, now that, you know, we have woken up to this truth, all right, Satan is coming at us on a high level, all right? Right, because you, you hear brothers always talk about the, the battle, the battle, right? Because this is a spiritual battle. And Yahweh and Yah himself is a man of war, right? So he likes a good fight. So just like Job, he has let Satan mess with us and aggravate us, all right? Uh, plague, plague our bodies with ailments, all right, coming to our mind, all right, try to disrupt, try to disrupt the, uh, the thoughts, okay? Put, uh, put w wicked people in front of us to try to aggravate us to, uh, to go off, all right, put instances in front of us, all right? Uh, it might have a fine woman that you like that wants, wants you, but she has a man, all right? Or you might have a job that pays a whole bunch of money, but they got, but you got to work weekends, and that's, and and that's part of the, that's part of the job. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You have to miss camp, so to speak, all right? Or or he'll stop you from, uh, you know, he'll play, he'll plague your wallet, so to speak, you know, your financial situation. He'll plague you by having you burn uh, uh, physically through, through not giving you any women. All right. You got to understand that these are all demons. You know, uh, you might have a lazy demon on you. You know, you, you, you might you might be losing the spirit because you're not you're not staying active. Those, those are all spirits. Those are all demons on the left hand side. Spirits on the left hand side. And, and, and there's ways to fight those demons, man. You, you got to and you got to keep fighting. This is a constant fight. All right. Until we, we will stop fighting once we have won the war and the war is not over. All right. These are these are a lot of battle and skirmishes that are taking place day by day. You know, and you got to strengthen up that spiritual man. All right. To be able to uh, counteract those spiritual attacks that you that you have. All right. Because you're being spiritually attacked on all sides. All right. Everything that happens to you and around you is done for a particular reason. All right, so say my uh have different people call you, put things in your mind, your family. All right, then then you you dwell on it and then you, you have a dream about it. All right. Or 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 um he'll he'll plague your your body. All right. And you and you don't understand why all these things are happening. And you pretty much give up. All right? You you let Satan pretty much uh, overcome you, but we we are conquerors conquerors through Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, he conquered, he conquered everything, man, for us. So we have this we have the steady battle day by day, and, and you gotta fight those demons that are on you. You gotta pretty much understand which demon is on you, and you gotta you gotta fight a uh, tooth and nail, or to overcome those demons, man. If you got a if you got a lazy demon on you, or you gotta you gotta fight tooth and nail through the spirit of Yah Basham Al Shai to get those demons off of you. Alright? If you got a gluttony demon on you, you just, just keep eating and eating and eating, you're overweight, it's, it's it's messing with your health. You gotta fight tooth and nail to get them demons off of you, man. Alright, cause we all have demons messing with us. Uh, it's not necessary. Hey, and then if you if you don't fight, that demon will pretty much overcome you. All right. So there's many ways to fight those demons, man. All right. And and and, and one of the first line of defense is uh is prayer. Are right, you got to constantly pray to Yah Bashamal Shaka? That's our power. That's our power source. Right. If you have a laptop, right, and it's running low on power, what do you do? You plug it into the socket. There's absolutely no other way that you can get power unless you plug it into that socket to get that electricity, right? So Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai, his son, being our power source, we got to plug in. 
And by plugging in is, is, is by crying out to the Lord. Right? The scriptures say, uh, first, first Thessalonians, I believe, 5 and 20, it says, pray without ceasing. So if you identify that these demons are messing with you, you have to constantly pray to Yah Bashem Al Shai. All right, to, to, to strengthen you and to have you fight and overcome those demons so you can go to the next stage. All right, because we, we, you, you grow in this thing and you, you fight and you battle and then you conquer through Yahweh Shai, all right, through wisdom, through the scriptures. All right, and then you're able to, you're able to lift those demons off of you. The Lord, the Lord will lift those demons off of you because you have grown. And then a new set of demons will come at you that are even stronger. So you got to constantly fight those demons. Another way to fight these demons, the scriptures talk about uh, fasting. All right, where you got to, where you pretty much bow down, bow down and afflict your soul. And by afflicting your soul, the Lord, through, through fasting, all right, will open up your spiritual mind. All right, to, to, to pretty much talk to you. All right, if think if think if you got to fast, you got to fast, man. Now the world contrary to the to the scriptures teaching you something else. But it teaches you to get counsel from big mama, to talk to your friends, which we, which we talk to our friends and our friends are the brotherhood. All right? And why, uh, now that I said that, another another way is to fight those demons is to counsel from men. Men of Yah Bashem Al Shai. You get counsel from your elder brothers, different brothers around you. All right, and, and to see if you was going off to help you through that, uh, through that time that you're in. Right, that's what the brotherhood is for because that brother might have went through a certain situation that you went through, and now he can help you out. All right, so you gotta constantly pray to Yah Bashem Al Shai. If you have to fast, you have to fast to Yah Bashem Al Shai. And ask the Lord to open up your eyes and to and to help you through the, this hard time that you're in. Okay? If you gotta abstain from certain things, alright, then you gotta abstain from certain things, man. But Jake doesn't want to do that, man. Jake wants to uh, feel good all the time. But through that, through that um through that hell, through that adversity. You grow through that adversity. Your back is against the wall. This is how Yah Bashim Shai does things. He puts your back against the wall to see if you're going to rely on him. Or are you going to find a different outside source of energy to tap into? You see? So brothers got to keep fighting. You know? If you're down in the spirit all the time, man, you, you got to constantly pray to the Lord, man. Your spirit is low. You got to link up with brothers more. Right? You you gotta get your diet right. Alright, you you gotta fast. This is how you're gonna counteract those spirits, man, them wicked spirits that are messing with you. Alright, and, and stopping you from growing and, and pretty much do uh pushing this word to the best of your ability. Alright, you got you gotta get in them script you gotta dive deep in them scriptures. Alright? You want to sit down and you're going to have to go deep in them scriptures, man. And ask the Lord to open up your understanding. That's where that prayer goes in. You know, once once you stop praying, hey amen. You're liable, you're liable to all type of attacks. You know? So Jake gotta keep fighting through this, man. We're all we're pretty much, you know, we're pretty much at the end. So now these spirits on the left hand side, they're attacking you on a higher level now. Right? And say they're not attacking you right now on a high level. They're gonna come. They're gonna come even on a more of a higher level. So it's very imperative that brothers keep pushing and keep fighting. Alright, you're gonna you gonna you're gonna be able to counteract Satan by pushing out this word more and more. And then that understanding is gonna be given to you. You know, so I, I just wanted to do this little video. You know, it was just on my spirit about about fight about fighting. You know, let me um let me bring out a scripture real quick to leave Jake with a scripture. 
You know? Because cause with, with that fighting and that prayer and the fasting and, and abstaining from certain of your pleasures and not giving in to them, the Lord is to uh, supposed to, uh, the Lord will open up your eyes, you know, and, and increase your faith because that's what it's about. This is 1 Timothy 6 and 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Wherein too thou art also called and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. Okay? So you got to fight that good fight of faith. And it's all about your faith. And that's what these spirits on the left hand side are trying to do. They're trying to make you uh, uh, doubt. They're trying to put doubt in your mind. So you can fall away. And you can pretty much um, a renege on the deal that you made with the Lord, to serving him and pushing his word. All right, so you, you got to pray. If you if you have to fast, you got to fast. You got to do what you got to do. Or you got to receive counsel from brothers. You know, you got to link up with brothers more. Or you got to you got to do more. You got to do more of the work. You got to keep them hands busy. All right, you don't want to be that idle, that idle servant. All right, so with that, amen, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to y'all, Bashim al Shai, double honor to the apostles and the elders. Peace and blessing to the Akim out there, the believers that are pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom.